Throughout the history of the World Championship, there's always been one thing that riders have been able to change, apart from the bike itself, and that's their own riding style. Riders develop this style over the years as they are growing up to help them get the most from their bikes. And while some may appear similar when seen from afar, each rider will have their own little quirks and details that make their own style unique. Finnish rider Jarno Saarinen was the first to hang off a bike and get his knee down in the 70s, although it was Kenny Roberts who made this trait fashionable. When I got better at road racing, I started to adapt the dirt track style to the road racer. And of course that started to change the knee on the ground, things like that started to change racing and, and uh, how, how we went racing. Some riders have taken techniques from other forms of motorcycle racing and incorporated them into their own to feature on track. Obviously a lot has changed with bike technology down the years which can also have a huge effect on a rider's style. The riders can be a lot more forceful with the bikes and they can get away without having big injuries like we do. If we move the throttle just that less than a millimetre more, we'd have just taken off and ended in the bushes uh, over there so and got hurt. Now uh, they can afford to push the limits more and the bike's sliding more, but the electronics take over and bring the bike back stable. Some riders are perfectionists and are always trying to find ways to tweak and adapt their style so they can be quicker, often with the use of a rider coach. Every rider has his own style. Uh, maybe I, I was... Uh... <laughs> Like, you know, like a little bit maniac for, to set up the bike in the perfect way, but, but you know, a perfect bike never exists. Obviously a rider has to adapt his style to the type of bike he's on. And with each manufacturer's machine handling and riding in completely different ways, some riders adapt their style to a certain bike, others have to adapt the bike to suit them. Obviously the Honda, um, you know, still is quite a, an aggressive bike. Still you can slide, you know, this, this bike and this bike can be moving quite a lot and still the lap time is, is quite good. With Yamaha, you know, you cannot move at all. The bike needs to always be, you know, front and rear very smooth and uh, the riders need to, to take care quite a lot. We can see that the Suzuki is able to carry, for me, more lean angle and uh, more corner speed. So with someone like Maverick, we are seeing quite an extreme body position where he's really carrying a lot of lean angle in the middle of the corner, but he then picks up the bike to try to get the acceleration on the exit. And then the Ducati, I think, is the one of the, the best turning bikes on the gas. Um, and they have a, a lot of rear traction. So they are able to sit on the, more on the center of the, of the bike. Um, whereas the other guys, they have to sit more outside and pick up the bike. They can sit, you know, and keep a more angle for a longer time than, than all of the other guys. Everybody and every manufacturer have a, their strengths and their weaknesses and uh, that's what makes MotoGP so interesting.